this video we will be going over like we'll be revising really very speedily about the porphyria which is related to heme synthesis right and this is the heme biosynthetic pathway right and this since this is a revision we are not again not going in details right heme is this heme is composed of porphyrin rings four porphyrin rings it is composed of and each nitrogen here is indicative of one porphyrin so it four porphyrin comes together make a huge proto porphyrin ring right and that has what a double bond single bond conjugation kind of a system which is which is the helping us like helping this heme ring this whole proto porphyrin system to absorb light that is why that is why what the heme absorbs or you can say because of the presence of pro or pyrin system which has a double bond single bond double bond single bond conjugated system it gives the soret band it gives the soret band at approximately 400 nanometer so when we take the absorption spectra so this kind of something a peak uh, but we see a peak here at approximately 400 nanometer wavelength okay that is known as soret pan that is peculiar of the heme because of the double bond conjugated double bond single bond conjugated system but the question is do we have this complex structure initially as such in the body no we need to synthesize the complex molecules from the smaller molecules and the theme synthesis starts from succinyl coenzyme A and glycine, which combines together to make ALA, A L A. That is amino levelunic acid, which is delta amino levelunic acid, hence in the short form ALA. Since we are synthesizing ALA, the enzyme name is ALA synthase or A L A S in the short form. Delta amino levelunic acid synthase is the name of the enzyme. The efficiency of this enzyme is, does not give any porphyrin. The efficiency of this enzyme leads to anemia. Right? This leads to anemia. And another thing is, this is the rate limiting enzyme. Rate limiting enzyme meaning the heme, which is what it is, end product. Heme is the end product. This end product inhibits the its own synthesis. When there is too much heme, then the LAS will be inhibited by the heme concentration right that is how this takes place after that your porphyria issues starts up so first step you exclude it even in the second step you don't see any porphyria all you see is kind of an abdominal pain so once you have ella then what you do is dehydration dehydration is eliminating water out dehydrating karna right and that enzyme is ella dehydratase now it was synthase in the first step. Now it's dehydratase in the second step, right? And that makes the porphyrobilinogen. This enzyme is inhibited by lead. This enzyme is inhibited by the lead. So is the last step. Last step is the perochelatase enzyme. This enzyme incorporates iron into this ring to make a heme ring system. This is also inhibited by the lead. So there are two enzymes which are inhibited by the lead. What are those enzymes? Those enzymes are found on the number, uh, found on the number two, the second enzyme and the eighth enzyme. Why I'm calling it as second and eighth? Because these are the steps. There are total eight steps. Total eight steps in the heme. First step, seventh step and eighth step. They take place in the mitochondria. So enzymes involved are mitochondrial enzymes. Ella synthase, Ella dehydratase, ferrochelatase are mitochondrial enzymes. The rest, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, right? All those are the cytoplasmic enzymes. All those are cytoplasmic enzymes. So you can kind of imagine it come, it is synthesized, Ella is synthesized, goes out in the cytoplasm, went around, mingles with so many enzymes bring the changes, come inside, then again finally convert it into heme. Another thing I wanted to look, uh, like you to look into it is when this is made, HMB was made 
then you can say after this you can uh, really see there is a closed structure after hnv synthase you have 4045 inversion so after this step which is this step 3 fourth right at this point in time you have conjugation in system that means when the deficiency of these enzymes will occur then only patient will be having sensitivity towards the light so there are conditions in the porphyria right what is the photosensitivity there are two kind of neurovisceral and photosensitivity two things we see in the porphyria right but there are two enzymes deficiency of which gives just the photosensitivity and there are enzymes which gives you both right and there are enzymes until like until this is formed you don't have photosensitivity until hmb is formed you don't have photosensitivity so all three enzymes above it they are not photosensitive but patient may show the neurovisceral symptom this is the one basis you can identify in exam that is the whole purpose of showing you the entire thing here this diagrammatic thing now what i want you to look into it how really we are doing it so this is the entire step i have written it down because this is the rapid rapid uh, thing we are doing okay you have succinyl coenzyme a right plus glycine coming together to form ala then you form the porphenobilinogen uroporphyrin how the hell we are going to remember it right so remember this mnemonic ala placed hydrated in urine cup in the urine cup produced pure heme right and if you can match if you can match see here ala is a delta ala placed is porphobilonogen has formed hydrated hmb synthase hydrated is hmb so another name of uroporphyrinogen is hmb 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 is hydroxymethyl belane right and also known as uroporphyrinogen also known as uroporphyrinogen hmb right urine urine is uroporphyrinogen that is indicative name is uroporphyrinogen what three this is for uroporphyrinogen one now you are synthesizing uroporphyrinogen three cup c u is coproporphyrinogen three produced pro protoporphyrinogen three pure protoporphyrin 9 protoporphyrin see this is nogen like chymotrypsinogen trypsinogen chymotrypsinogen gets converted into chymotrypsin trypsinogen converts into trypsin similarly protoporphyrinogen is converted into protoporphyrin and we call it as 9 this is not 10 this is if i am right this is 9 just cross check it okay and then finally the here in the last Step, the green is getting in iron is getting incorporated so heme so we are incorporating fe name of enzyme here is ferrochilatase ferrochilatase and this was ala dehydratase they both are inhibited by the lead so workers who are working in the lead factory a lead poisoning kind of a condition is there so what they will show they are going to inhibit these two enzymes ala dehydratase and the ferrochilatase both this was previously asked question in the exam right heme biosynthesis do not take place in mature rbcs why because of the lack of the mitochondria it does not take place in the rbcs we need we need the the initial the first step is in the mitochondria but signal coenzyme may coming together to form the glycine that does not take place because of the lack of the mitochondria now we know the name of the uh, name of the substrates that are involved now comes the name of the enzymes because that enzyme deficiency is going to tell you what kind of porphyria it is being related to so initially it was ala synthase we have discussed it ala dehydratase we have discussed it now the third step is porphobilinogen to uroporphyrinogen one so in this step there are the enzyme has three names to it one is por four Bilinogen, whatever is the name of the substrate, gen, and what we are doing it is we are deaminating, so it is deaminase, and what we are synthesizing HMB hydroxymethylbilane, so another name is HMB synthase. 
the second name of the enzyme third name of the enzyme is uroporphyrinogen 1 synthase uroporphyrinogen 1 synthase so three name of the same enzyme three name of the same enzyme and this is very important deficiency of this enzyme we will see leads to acute intermittent porphyria leads to acute intermittent porphyria right and in that case what will be elevated because of the enzyme deficiency the substrate which is giving the product the state is porphobilinogen so porphobilinogen will be elevated when it will be elevated hmb synthase deficiency so in aip what you will see hmb uh, increased porphobilinogen right that's how you are going to remember it it is very very like commonly asked question